Everybody, welcome back to Path of Exile. Uh, so, well, I'm actually in Haku's hideout it now. I, I, made a, I made a hideout with this fucker. Instead of Arian's, like, fucking dark-ass place. So it's actually really nice. Water effects and all that. So, uh, the reason why we're here, actually, is um, we're going to spend, like, ten minutes or something. Because, uh, since we just did Labyrinth, and we just learned what ascendancies are, I feel like, you know, from the beginning of the, the LP, I was basically like, I'm not going to explain what Pat's doing. Well, now I'm going to kind of explain what Pat's doing and why I hate it. Uh, well, I, I don't really know what he's doing, but I just automatically probably won't like it. I mean, it's probably. It's, it's probably manageable, but there's a good reason for it. And it actually requires us to kind of learn what his ascendancy is all about. So you guys already know about mine. I'll just refresh your memory. Uh, I have this nice ability where I kill everything with 20% or lower life. I gain Onslaught, which is like 20% increased attack, cast speed, movement speed. Um, for 20 seconds, I might kill a rare or unique enemy. So it's a really, ni really nice buff. Uh, I should also mention that there's a lot of really nice in-between nodes here. So like every time I go into something, it either gives me Leech. But generally speaking, everything gives me like 14% increased damage or some attack speed or something else with 200 but basically yeah that's a generic 200 weapon build you got a lot of damage with 200 weapons with these so eventually i'm going to get uh life leech effects uh that removed at full life and i get more overkill damage as leech and then i eventually get like a shit ton of leech and stun immunity and bleed immunity then eventually like some reduced reflected damage taken so um to show you what pat has done uh I, i'm gonna have to basically pull up uh, a browser you should still be able to see it i hope but whatever so I'm just showing you here, this is the uh, the Path of Exile's uh, online uh, skill tree. So you can get, kind of go to it, it's on their website, and they have like, you know, the same deal. Uh, so all this stuff. So I can actually show you other people's classes, like what they get. So I can go to, like, let's say Mar Marauder. Marauder is like the other equivalent of my... Uh, this is more of the strength-based class, so if I choose like Juggernaut, let's see what he gets, you know. Uh, he gets like a 30% chance to get an endurance charge when you are hit. And he also has a plus one of endurance charges. He gets like damage per endurance charge. 25% uh, chance that if you'd gain endurance charges, you instead gain the maximum of them. So like if my maximum is three, it goes right to three. Uh, this one gives you damage while you fortify, life regen with fortify, increased effective fortify. We've explained fortify even though I didn't really use it that, all that much. Uh, this one is also cannot be stunned, but armor, armor received from body armor is doubled. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, accuracy rating, uh, and all that kind of stuff, like a shit ton of accuracy rating. Uh, this one's like, uh, some movement speed stuff, but anyway, so, now let's look at what pack gets. So, by the way, so, like, still you get two points, so, like, I would go into that, let's say, I'd go into that. Oh, cool, so that's, like, two, two runs in the labyrinth. Let's see what pack gets. What's his ascendancy classes? Oh, he gets just one. Oh. Oh, what 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 the fuck's this mess? Oh, you, you need to calm down, Mike. There's more complexity to the Scion's ascendancy than just oh, there's one thing. Yeah, it's more complex than that. It's more complex than that. Story of his life. So, uh, nice. appar so apparently, um, for the Scion class, because the Scion starts in the middle and can generally do everything, they didn't really know what to do with her and her ascendancies. Because like for me, like I just pick something that's very good at leeching and very good at hitting stuff and whatever. Um, so, and like, you know, if you choose a spellcaster, there's like a necromancer one where you get like really good summons and things like that. Um, so like, what they did was, they're like, well, we don't know what the fuck to do, so we're just going to give a little bit of everything, all right? But like, this isn't like dipping into trees. So his equivalent for mine, so you, like, the, the, you guys understand mine the most at this point. Like, how good it is, I, I hope, like, with like, that you get to call things and things like that. Let's see what his equivalent for this is. He gets, uh, if he picks Slayer, he gets 50% reduced damage taken. Uh, reflected damage taken. Reflected, sorry, yeah, reflected damage taken. And that's taken. pretty big. Okay, you gotta admit, that's pretty big. We haven't seen much reflect in this game yet, but in the later part of the game, that becomes more important. Okay. Just saying. 40% increased damage with hits against rare or, uh, and unique enemies, all right? Life leech effects not removed at full life. Okay, so he gets that thing where he's always leeching. He gets a bit more damage against rare and unique enemies. And your damaging hits always stun enemies on full life. So he's missing, like, this massive leech. He doesn't get the stun immunity. He doesn't get the bleed immunity. He doesn't get any of the 14%, the, the like... You see, you see how 40% damage with hits against rare unique enemies? I get that. Already as it is, when I go through in between the nodes to all the to all the other uh, to all the stuff that I want, I get forty percent increased damage no matter what. Like it's it's like 
a great deal of damage there. Uh, what else does he get? Um, th well, what, what does he not get? Uh, he doesn't get the onslaught buff that I get. He doesn't get a lot of the stuff. But the whole point of this is that he can technically pick two. Because what he can do is, so you get like four points in total, right? So like, he's right now got two. So he, d he did something like this. So he got like a stat node and a passive point. But this is yeah. the this is the problem with your first um, your first descendancy thing. You don't get anything. He he's this is this is how he is right now. Like I don't know where he he's actually tried to traverse to, but he he can't even get if he want to get Slayer stuff. He can't get there. He can't get there at all. So like so the next time he goes through it, he can do it again. Uh, uh, this is uh, it did kind of as two clicks, but it's actually just one. Uh, do, like I don't know why the the thing is just bad. Yeah, the online one's a little weird, but that's whatever. Yeah. Um. I I don't know if the. Yeah. One of the things that it lets you do. Oh, apparently, path of the duelist grants to. Apparently, when you when you pass uh to the skill tree uh the different um characters, you get two skill points. Yeah, which is actually really nice. But that's they, a. They added that's that a side recently. Thing. Yeah, this lets you kind of like go start in two different trees, kind of thing. But but my my side point my main point is that the ascendancies suck for this. Like, a lot of these, uh, like, I mean, I, I can't show you all these, but a lot of them are really fucking terrible. Like, you have Onslaught Wallet, Full Frenzy Charge, this 10% chance to gain a Frenzy Charge when you hit a rare or unique enemy, which isn't, this isn't bad, but Raider itself, the actual base ascendancy is really good. <laughs> like, for Raider, for Ranger, it's really good, but on the ascendancy one, it's just, like... It's a watered down version of it. That's it's, what all of them are. It's, but it's the they're fact all watered that you down. Use two of them. You can mix and match. You get basically two watered down ones, or do you get the the bane one? And the water ones, I find, I always hate. I I I don't. What like about it. the assassin bike? Assassin is one point five percent to critical strike chance, forty percent. That's base critical strike chance. Yes, too. I know it is. Uh, forty percent. Critical strike multiplier against enemies on full life. Twenty percent chance to gain a power charge that hits enemies on full life. Like I, I don't know how much you could do that, especially with a with a when you're playing with someone else, they could, they they'll probably hit them first and lower their health a little bit. But you know, let's just say you know, uh, I mean that that doesn't give you power charges against bosses and things like that. But there's other ways of generating that, anyways. Your critical strikes with uh, with attacks maim enemies. It's just not good. I I I, I don't like it. And it, I, honestly, I, I know you don't, but I like to think, Mike. I like to think <laughs> of the things that I can do to mix and match these to create interesting prospects. All right. Because it's like I said, he's missing all those in-between notes. He does get more passive points. He does get more stats. That's that's the uh, that's the the return that he gets. And what he can basically do is he can get like um, sorry, let me just do this. He can get basically two of these. Um, uh, he can get two of these, like, starting whatever thing, guys, or, sorry, what, two of these subclasses, and then he can go into one, uh, someone's skill tree, uh, someone's skill tree and, and take some of their notes, or he can get more stats or something. You can't get three of these, you can only get up to two. That's how it works. So which ones are you going for? Uh, in, I'm in, in going to be going for the Necromancer and the Champion. Okay, so he's doing a support build, um, which is, I knew he was doing this from the beginning, I didn't know how he did it. And I mean, this is like the one thing that may actually work with the science slightly well. So let me actually like, yeah. Let me reset this. All right. So what he's do what he's probably done is probably gone up to intelligence and uh, passive point. So because right now, intelligence is needed for a lot of the skill gems I have. So right now, that's all he has. Like, like I have something cool where I get to call everything. He gets fucking nothing. And then so he's already got necromancers. So he's got um. Junior minions have four percent uh, reduced, uh, uh, well, four four percent physical reduction, uh, twenty percent eh. increased skill effect duration. Junior allies have thirty percent increased damage uh, while affected by ores. You guess this is what he's getting next time. By the way, he doesn't have this right now. Uh, you and allies are affected by uh, have twenty percent chaos uh, resistance. Okay, and then he's gonna go for champion, which is this one here. Twenty percent chance to fortify on hit. Twenty uh, twenty percent chance to taunt on hit. You and nearby allies deal 30% increased damage while you fortify 5% reduced damage taken from Tante enemy. So basically he's going for a build where we get, um, everybody around him gets 60% uh, increased damage. That's yep. that's just what he's doing. A a and because I'm also going to be taunting people, taunt on its own gives 10% less damage taken and now I get another 5% on top of that. So everybody around me is going to be doing more damage 
they're going to be taking less damage. And I'm also going to be doing a thing where I fortify, but I'm also going to fortify everybody in the party. This is not a scion thing. This is a thing that is a is a threshold jewel, which we'll I'll, I'll show you later on. We'll, but... we'll look at it at some point. Yeah, I'm actually. And, but we did, I also we did have, have but one I also there. get the increased skill effect duration because there, as we've gone into vol side areas, there's the vol abilities that we've seen, and a couple of them are vol auras, which have a set timer. And skill effect duration is a really hard thing to get. And I can use this to have those up more often. So, basically he's doing this because he's going to do Necromancer support, and that got nerfed. Uh, as of pretty this patch, bad. It got nerfed pretty bad. Because people wanted it nerfed. Um, and they'll, they'll nerf it. They'll fucking nerf it. So, I mean... The thing is, it used to be with the old Necromancer, the actual Necromancer Ascendancy for the Witch, every single aura you cast gave like 10% increased damage and something else, and it was getting too... You can run a lot of auras if that's what you focus on, which is what I'm doing, and the numbers were too high. And what I'm doing now is basically going to be almost similar to what the old Necromancer was, just without some of like the actual minion benefits. So, but I'm going to be going into curses instead. So... uh Okay, so basically what he's doing here is a Commander of Darkness gives 30% increased damage uh, while affected by all auras he cast. So that's um, that's the Necromancer skill right there. Uh, that, that's that's literally the, the Necromancer Scion right there. He's giving up the Element Resist, he's giving up the auras he cast grant. Um, so what they did was it used to be 10% per aura and then they just made it flat 30%. It used to stack auras and that's how... You'd have like 10 auras or something, or 12 auras, and then you'd have like, you'd give everybody like 120 da uh, 20 percent damage, which was really really OP. Um, and then like every party wanted a, a necromancer support, but now they they made it a flat amount. So, uh, and the attack and cast speed isn't as much anymore either. It used to be five percent. So that's what that's what they've done to it, and he he's giving this up. Because what you could also get is you can get like uh, this is the f this is the physical damage reduction for each zombie you own. You can get 100% uh, increased damage and life on inspectors. You can get 30% increased damage on minions. Some desecrate makes more corpses, which is a ability that he could have. Nah. Um, skill effect duration. Your offering skills also affect you, which is a huge buff to him as well. Offering skills are like it can give you block and give you cast and attack speed things like that. There's also one here that gives like uh, some chaos damage and stuff. And every in-between node gives 15% increased damage to, to minions and some life uh, to his minions and things like that. So he's basically giving up um, all this minion damage and stuff. Like this is like literally like, this is a huge amount of minion potential damage. Like it's like 60% minion damage to basically do some shit with the Scion where like he does a bit more damage to every everybody around him in a party rather than his own minions damage. <laughs> so... But the minions are just a sideshow thing for me, Mike, and you know that. They're yeah, not something that to... I'm going to be scaling into the late game. All right, well, I don't, I don't need to look at that anymore, so let's, let's, let's continue. But that's, that's basically the stupid shit he's doing, and, uh, Thank you. and, and I hate it. So uh, I, I know, Mike. All right, God, one... trust me, do I know. So which one should we do? Fucking, I'm going to go Dressa, I like Dressa. Dressa. Okay, listen to him. I am Dressa, the sword of the king. It was Alright, this is, um, Duress's dream, so it's like, uh, I mean, the guy we're fighting is some guy who manifests nightmares or something, so, this is some guy's dream, so I don't know why it's not, maybe it's a nightmare, I don't know, because you're, you're fighting giant turkeys in an arena. All will, all will be, all will be shown in time, Mike. I'll be some time. Like, there are a ton of better classes that Pat could be going, but he just refuses to do so, so. Thank you. You want a giant life flask? Of course you do. Here you go. I I have bigger life flasks than that. Well, go fuck yourself. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, Mike. Too your kind mom. to me. My spirit is spent. Oh my god. You know, there uh, there was a serious hate boner for the Scion, and and I can't necessarily blame him. It's so bad. Yeah. It's just so bad. Like, 
a, a lot of the a lot of what they added with the ascendancy classes was like really super interesting like class changing stuff like as i said like the duelist i never liked uh, i never played a duelist in the game before uh, ascendancies and then it was the slayer that made me actually like the duelist because he plays more in a playstyle that i would i would enjoy which is like you know leeching a lot and you know being kind of being being a badass melee man yeah what was i doing last time i don't remember we played this like weeks ago i think i was trying to get life or something and then i didn't i i, I was stopping I, i'll stop oh no no i know what i'm doing i'm going to go into uh uh of one of the jewel nodes so uh by the way dex is actually a problem for this class right now so i have 97 so that's why we go into here into the jewel socket which we need to also allocate a point into for our super points for that Ah, oh, Artisan, here we go. I got transmute for that. Alright, pretty good. We like one on these on these kinds of things. Art yeah, because it gives you currency, basically. Crafting materials. I'm surprised we haven't seen more of these, by the way. Because um, someone was actually saying, like, that I should sell... Someone suggested that, like, when we were trying to buy wisdom scrolls, we, we needed more wisdom scrolls, we sold whetstones and... Uh, That's uh, what I always sell. Well, he was saying that we should maybe sell the transmutes. And I said no, because no, no, you use them in the end game. That's what I said. Yeah, transmutes get used up a shit ton. The transmutes are the blue ones here. You use them a little bit, but like you have, a, especially with the, those kinds of strong boxes, which are pretty plentiful. Um, you use them a lot. You, you use them for a bit, and you took that one. Eh. No. Uh -huh, I'll keep it anyway. The transmutes are actually incredibly useful in most stages of the game, in my opinion. No, there's a lot of builds that may use them even more than others, so it's hard to say. So I don't know if anyone notices, but like I already do like a lot more damage because I'm calling the shit out of everything. I'm increasing his damage too. Is it, I'm gonna take the other. I have two jade floss so far. That that's ridiculous, actually. Yeah, and just from this area, actually. But I don't need evasion, really. I'm also throwing vulnerability on top of it, so you should be doing a shit ton of physical damage. Also, here's my onslaught buff. I have onslaught for like 20 seconds. That poor ghost, dude. You should have just, you should have just ch kept chasing him. Slaughter is a hand. So already is, yeah. already is the leech is really good too, but. It's gonna get even better. Oh yeah, is this the new patch where their harbingers are better already? No, they that's gonna be released Friday. Okay, well. We'll definitely have it before the end game. How to go to the grand arena. I, I love the way he says that. Can I just say that? The Grand Arena of Theopolis! He makes me happy. I wonder if I can turn that up, actually. Oh yeah, dialogue volume. Let me turn it up slightly. No wonder he wanted to have... Welcome to the Grand Arena of Theopolis. It is here that I first laid eyes upon my true purpose. A lady my friend. It is our inspiration that defines us. Alright, uh, just like overrid his dialogue when I got it here. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. It's not like required dialogue. It, it's not like there was yeah. subtitles or anything. No, nah, yeah, there's a subtitle. No wonder he wanted to have sex with a giant squid lady. This man's amazing. That it's a did. legend. He want to he want to fuck the Act Two bo uh, Act One boss. My god, I wonder what Duressa would think of Splatoon. Uh... Right. Nothing? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just move on. These are not questions we ask. Um, <laughs> They're the questions I ask. This is a Christian YouTube channel. Advertiser friendly. We're gonna talk about ah. fucking squids here. We're talking about refreshing taste of uh, your favorite popular... Uh, Mountain Dew. Drink, drink okay, your uh, Mountain Dew today. Mountain Dew, yeah. Nothing but, no, nothing but advertiser friendliness here. Put on your Dorito hat, Mike. Otherwise, you're not getting paid. 
<laughs> Dorito hat. Was it like just a giant orange chip you just wear it on your head? Yeah, pretty much. And when you get hungry, you just kind of take it off. You know, put your gloves on first because you know those things are just covered in dust. And okay. then, you know, just nibble on the top and then set it back up there and you're good All to right. go. I've got to say, soda and chips are disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this like says Mr. Fucking ketchup chips. Uh, I, I don't. I don't like. I don't fucking eat ketchup chips. It's fucking like it's just a Canadian thing. Okay, it's too we bad. could even get our dog to eat those things. Oh, you didn't like him? No, nobody in the house did. I mean, it's just it's it is a weird thing. I told I, I as I said I didn't blame you guys because you guys didn't like it. They they taste like salt and vinegar chips. To be honest with you. Kind of similar, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm the summoner now. Oh, you will be soon. I, I summon skeletons around me. The irony is you summon more skeletons than I do, because I have no points in no, uh, minion shit. Yeah, how can you have points? You're fucking Siam. God, you just need to lay off me, man. Fuck the Siam. Fuck everything the Siam stands for. What, 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 do you not like her screaming about her dead husband? I mean, literally does nothing. I, I'm literally in the middle of everything. I'm calling everything, I'm fucking doing damage. You know, and you're adding 30%. Well, no, you're not adding 30% damage. So you're adding actually. No, really I'm currently. A, I, I'm currently using generosity to auras. I'm cursing, and I have a stat that is increasing the effect of those auras and curses, and giving you 18% more damage. Pat, you shouldn't curse. It's bad manners. Also, there's some bosses here, but I I'm, I'm literally this, wrecking their faces. Thank so. you, Mike. My Thank you. Spent. Oh, cool. We got Ooh. that knife. I have no idea what that knife is. Uh, it's a piece of shit, actually. Holy fucking shit, that's so bad. Mike, you need to stop hecking cursing, god dang it. Look at that one. Wow, that... It's level... Mike, it requires level 5, alright? Like, how are you getting mad at that? It's not even a leveling one. I, I, I bet, like, I get things that drop on the beach uh, that are better than that. Uh... Yeah, actually, you might. <laughs> Point being, it's level 5, Mike. Don't... Don't... Do too hard. Battle worthy of song. Of how it feels to be Whoops. Oh, I, I clicked that thing, Max, and that also fucking cancels his, di <laughs> cancels his dialogue. Alright, I can't pick up that mask because I have a full on inventory. They're greedy. It's a full on inventory, man. I, I don't even know what I. Oh, I didn't remove my shit from last time. A king of swords is nothing. He cannot defend his crown. Alright, this is Duresso. <laughs> So he's, it is a, a he's a pretty simple boss. He just has like spinning blades that you don't want to stand in. So if you're like taking a lot of damage over time for no reason, um, then you're probably stepping into blades like Pat is right now. They're, they actually, they actually do a lot of physical damage. He has that little cold attack that you just don't want to be in the middle of. By the way, these bosses like learning their patterns is actually a pretty good idea for mapping because they're they come back again in the mapping part of the game and they're much stronger. More difficult. Yeah. So. Bloody Milady. Yeah, I try to just jump out of that every time. Just a bit. I'm, I'm, my character's a bit slower now. All right, we're about to kill him because he almost has 20% life. And there, he's dead. Your glory will be remembered in song forever, Doresso. Fuck. I promise you that. So we got a unique ring here. We got a comb sign. Gives you some health, some strength. Two life get gained for each enemy hit by attacks, and then plus one endurance charges. Probably not the worst thing in the world for me, but I think every ring I have is better right now, so... It's it's not it's still not a bad ring if you can work it into your build somehow. And this... There's also, here, uh, there's this also ring. a game where you can upgrade unique items through Prophecy, which we'll touch on later. And that actually has an upgrade which is far stronger. Yeah. Just throw that out there. Yeah, there's there's Prophecy. Like Usually we keep uniques with us, unless they're like really bad. I'm gonna put that there. So, where's the? All right, so this is the one that Pat gave me before. This is um, from last time gives me some damage and manage mana leech. So I'm just gonna open with pass the tree, just toss that in there, and there we go. We got some damage and mana leech from that one thing that Pat gave us. What do you need now? Oh yeah. And all this other shit is garbage. I think. Actually, that's not a bad. Our piece, but I I don't think we have the. It's not great elements. either. Yeah, either of us have, have armor requirements. I'm watching you. Uh, by the way, these two these two flasks here, they had a bit of a special board around them, and I like to keep some of these flasks around. They're like these are the evasion variants, but um, 
They, they can they can be useful. They can be useful for different things. Oh, I have an engineer's orb now. Increases the quality of a strong box. It's uh, essentially like an armor or a whetstone or anything like that. Increases the quality of an item, but just works strictly for boxes. You're a box. Thank you. All right, let me just dump off some of this stuff. I'm wondering if I should actually start using my actual currency tab. Because up to this point, I actually haven't been doing that. All right, guys. Why not? Oh, yeah, I have some of these files, too. Okay. Are, are we going to pay to win now? Uh, yeah, I think we're doing pay to win. So this entire time, I've been really nice to all of you. And I've been basically, like, playing the game in such a way where it'd be as if, like, you had very little microtransactions, even though I have, like, a Kiwi and shit running around with me. Um, they have stash tabs in this game. Uh, this is the reason why you probably have seen, like, the fact I have, like, fucking ten of them. But it actually goes <laughs> much further than that. Because uh, I've paid money into the game to get certain things for this game, so... Uh, right now, and right now you can just keep doing what I'm doing here, um, if it comes down to it. Uh, like, you don't actually have to do anything of what I'm doing here. Uh, but basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually, um, see that these green tabs are actually ones I can color as well. Normally, when I right-click on one of these, it doesn't do that, but you can just kind of call it, like, that is a fucker. Kind of like that, with, and make it pink. But there's one that I have here somewhere, this one right here. So I'm gonna just take that to the beginning. So they were really nice enough to give us uh, a tab that you can put all your currency into. And it just needs a dump all button. Yeah. It kind of sorts it out for me, so I like it. So it brings all my orbs together. You know, you even have like a place for your mirrors or calandra, you know, because we're definitely getting like a ton of them this league, I'm sure. This is the league. Oops. And I usually just put a dollar sign and make it green. It's my holla holla get dollar fucking tab, but there mm. you go. What? Anyways, uh so that's basically it for that. We have we have we have an actual currency tab. So I just just throwing that out there. There's actually other tabs too, but I don't have them right now. There's like one that uh where well let me actually look at the shop. Um where's the fucking shop for it? Tell you what the other ones are. It's going to be under account. Account features. Oh, yeah, so they have some premium stash tabs are the ones I can rename. Uh, they have a they have a essence tab which Pat has, which is why I give him all the essences. Uh, by the way, they have sales on this shit all the time, so don't get them right away if you're really into the game. Just wait a little bit and like. Pretty much every other weekend they have stash sales, so. Yeah, just wait for a sale. It's kind of like Steam or whatever. Uh, Divination stash tab, uh, stash tab, which are the cards that you saw dropping. And they have a quad stash tab, which makes everything like really tiny, but nobody likes that one, so... Uh, that's how that works. Alright, let's go back in. Oh, let's go to the dreams. But don't let your dreams be memes. Alright, let's go check to this bitch. Pride the desire from Duressa's dead hand, did you? Or is it dead again hand? Or re-dead hand? Or is undeath really just death with benefits? In which case, you didn't kill Duresso because he was already dead. It's all a bit of a grey area, really. I'm completely beside the point. Right. Ta-ta. So that's, Not a cockroach. That's that character. Also, I think maybe I have it too loud now, the characters. They are really loud. <laughs> death with benefits. Death with benefits. Uh, Alright, so this is going to be it. the end of this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and take care. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody.